Having uncomfortable conversations doesn't get any easier with age. It takes practice and tips to navigate. Gaina Lynn is here to show us how to do that. Gaina Lynn, God gave us all special gifts. <laughs> this is literally something he left out for me. I, I am that is not so horrible. not true. Horrible I've at had, having uncomfortable conversations. I don't think so. But I, I think all of us, let's just say on the outset, if it's uncomfortable, it feels uncomfortable. So I, I don't think that you ever get to the point where you're like, yes, let's let's just dive into those uncomfortable things every day. But it gets better as you practice. I think it, it's right? the anxiety before. Right. It's one of those things. Like once I get in, I think I, of it. Right. I think you're great when you get in, but you want to put whatever that is off. Yes. And a long, so many long of us do. Yeah. I don't want to do this. And, and we build up to like the story of what it's going to happen. But today, I hope we can kind of talk about the times where you're not expecting it. You're at a family gathering or you're with a group of friends and it comes up and it's uncomfortable. Okay. Then what do you do? What should you do? So the first one I would like to say, the example, the first thing I would like to suggest is redirect. And redirect is different than changing the subject. So if you're redirecting a conversation because you've decided you're getting together and you're going to plan your mom's 80th birthday party, but your sibling decides that's the time we're going to talk about the will. And all of a sudden, it's really uncomfortable. Redirect is just a gentle way to say, you know what, maybe we can plan a time. You're not avoiding it. We're going to plan a time and get together. We can talk about the will on another day. Today, but, we're here to talk about the party. But today, we're going to talk about the party. Mm. So that's the first tip is redirect. You can use that with your spouse, too. Oh, and teenagers. Like, this and is teenagers. Really, teenagers always want to get you in the weeds. That's what I always say. And so you redirect back. We're talking about you helping with the dishes, not about having the car Ooh, I like, I'm happy to talk about that yes. next time. Yes. But this time, this right. is what we're tackling. And then the next thing is um, sometimes <laughs> people bring up uncomfortable things. Like our family, my husband and I went through seven years of infertility. Chronically, we had com comments about, you know, do we not like children? <laughs> you know, what's our issue? Because people are so appropriate sometimes <laughs> right? with those hard to talk about topics. Or, or maybe you've gone through a breakup or a job loss or something like that. You can honestly answer that in a way that lets them know it's sensitive without saying too much. So like just, what? You can say something like, so if someone says to you, so I heard you got fired. Yeah, it's been a difficult time, but I'm using this time for some self-discovery and I, I see the value in that. So sarcasm doesn't work there. Thank you so much for bringing <laughs> that up. Well, that I, made my I'm, day. I'm going to tell you on the infertility thing, we used to say, well, we like rare dogs and money and kids are way too expensive. Oh, that was, but yeah. you had it planned. Yes. That's we, the key. Because it was so, be it was so You have to have, so have, to have your response yes. ready for yes. something like so that. So if you know you're going to family gathering and you're the single one, Brian, <laughs> and everyone brings it up all the time. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> believe me, Brian's prepared. I know. I know. <laughs> we have this conversation all the time. So the other, the next tip, <laughs> the next tip is acknowledge knowledge. So so this is classic for the Facebook um, troller that you post something and then they decide to hijack your post and make it about some political statement or whatever. It, it's also helpful with the fa friend or family member that is always kind of the know-it-all that wants to kind of mm -hmm. get in your face and say, you're just so ill-informed. So just acknowledge, say, you know what, it feels like you're really... Um, you know, experienced in this area, I would love to hear where that comes from or what experience have you had. So it kind of diffuses it. And then you can try the redirect after that, right? Mm -hmm. So I was reading a book last night on relationships and one of the tips helped me so much and it fits right into here. Assume good intentions. Yes. Assume their intentions like every that. single time. Yes. Even if they're not, I assume they are. I, I think generous assumptions are such you a gift. You react differently. You react differently. And I just had someone post something that could have gotten really emotional and I private messaged her and just said, I totally value your experience on that. And I learned some things about why she was feeling mm -hmm. that way. The, the last one, the last two is change the topic. My, my daughter does this beautifully when her friends start gossiping. She says, hey, has anyone been to Hawaii? Which we haven't been and so it just changes <laughs> the subject. And then the last one is define the words because I think sometimes people say to you, you know, that's really kind of um, sexist of you or I feel like you're not being honest with me. And all of a sudden the conversation becomes uncomfortable and it wasn't, say to them, what does honesty feel like? Explain how you would define that mm -hmm. because I'm not feeling like I'm not being honest with you. But if you'll help me understand that word and how you feel about that word, we can get on the same page. You just diffused. Yeah, I mean, totally that completely diffused. Completely diffuses an argument. Right and there's there. a lot of questions going yes. on with the diffusing, right. which I really like too. Right, which makes the other person feel validated mm -hmm. and takes the energy down just a little bit so that the conversation can move forward. Gainalyn, that was not uncomfortable at all. I feel well, with you guys, way more comfortable. I'll now. be with you every day. <laughs> That's more the information easiest. about Gaina Lynn. She has tips, she has tricks, she has books. <laughs> Go to our website. She's full of all those good 
things. ABC4.com slash GTU. Up next, everybody, the truth about...